and we're live. I, I, I was reading this thing on entrepreneur.com. I forget how I got there. It's probably Reddit. Um, 50% or I'm sorry, 50 cents bankruptcy is a lesson in valuing what you earn. Um, and then they go on to talk about it. It, it, it pretty much this like easy come, easy go thing. He earned $185,000 a month. He bought Mike Tyson's mansion. Mike Tyson burned through $400 million somehow. I don't know how much of that was stolen from him. But um, they mentioned Burt Reynolds, Kim Basinger, Willie Nelson, Scotty Pippen. All these guys went broke. Um, apparently, you know, when, when I heard 50 Cent declared Chapter 11, and um, a quick lesson. There's two kinds of bankruptcies, 11 and 7. 11 is the one where they pretty much just like the government negotiates how much the people you owe actually get. And then you start over again. Seven is when they liquidate you. And that one almost seems more fair. Like, you know, Chiz owes all these people money. Don't know why I'm making it Chiz. And uh, they wipe out Chiz, give everything they can to their creditors, etc. Eleven is different. With 11, with chapter 11, they just like, yeah, cheers, all right, you're worth 100 million, you owe 28, we'll make that 14, and you know they'll be default happy. Default on all your... Yeah, yeah and they default credit. or pay pennies on the dollar and the things that he owes, and that's what he's doing, so he's kind of screwing over the people that he borrowed from. Or, you know why, right? See, that's the thing. So, <sighs> he was in financial trouble already. They made it seem like it was fake at first, like, dot 50 cents, so rich. This is all a big scam to get out of the, was it a rape charge? What was uh, it? What, what no, did he lose he in court? he uploaded a sex tape of uh, someone else's girl, I forget who, and he was being sued. Rick Ross. That. Rick Ross. Is that what it is? He is lost, it? but I think the lawsuit was only for like a couple million. Eight million. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry, that's what his man is worth. Let me see. It's yeah, in five, here somewhere. Something like that. Yeah, all right, you, you guys are right. So there's five million that he lost to a Florida woman over his sex tape, and 18 million that he owes to some company called Sleek Audio which looked like it was a Beats by Dre competitor that went wrong. <laughs> so um, so those are the two big lawsuits, the $18 million and the $5 million. Uh, but there's a bunch of other things that he owes that add up to like $28 million, I think, if I have it right. And um, it's just interesting that this guy was like the guy. Like he got $100 million in that vitamin water deal. Um, he made mm -hmm. a lot of money off his records. <laughs> this was like the richest of all the rap guys, and it turned out to be a facade. Not a facade. I mean, he was living the big life, but um, the, the the theme of this article I was reading was the easy come, easy go thing. That, that that's how I mean, a hundred grand expenses a month. That's outrageous. No, that was his yeah. earnings. One hundred and eighty. No, that was his expenses no, as well. One hundred and eight thousand. Yeah. Uh, oh, you getting it from a different article? I guess there's something. No, oh, it's oh, right there. There it is. Yeah, he spends one hundred and eight like a month on expenses, but he said he was earning one hundred and eighty five a month on royalties and investments. That's 185 a month is amazing money. Like you earn, yeah, 185 a year. I thought he drinks. earned a percentage on vitamin water. I didn't know that. Like he got He's, bought out by them or just took a lump sum. Yeah, in 2007, hmm. he got 100 million from Coca-Cola. So, <sighs> you're 100 million. If you get a hundred million dollar windfall, and, and you know he didn't like earn it. I guess he earned it by making a clever decision early on. But I really doubt he was on like the vitamin water decision making process, you know, and and like I don't think it was his wisdom that made it do so well. He was just an early investor. He got one hundred million dollars and it, and it blew. And something about the way this article read on the easy come easy go thing, like it, uh, it just I'm sitting here bound and determined not to follow in his footsteps. I don't know. It's not out of money. Yeah. He is going to be okay. Yeah, that's that's what the article says too. It, they, you know, I don't know where it says how much he's got, but like people were freaking out when this first broke out. Like, oh, he's filing bankruptcy. I'm like, well, clearly you don't know what it means because it doesn't mean he ran out of money. It means that he wants the government to reduce his debt so that he can yeah. pay pennies on the dollar. That's what eleven means anyway. Um, it even says it right here. Chapter eleven bankruptcy protection does not mean you're broke. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is good for him. It is going to be good for him. We'll see. If, I mean, like, this yeah, is a guy yeah. who sucks at managing his money in a really extreme way. You know, it, that while this Chapter 11 thing might work out okay for him, I, 
if he keeps fucking up like this. There's no more wa- vitamin waters coming in, right? Like, it, it, there probably aren't. That's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. He's not going to continue to get $100 million dropped into his checking account on a regular basis. He's going to need to start living. Like, as much as he's made, he still managed to fuck this up. And he'll probably come out of this a multimillionaire, but not like he was. He needs to start living like a, like a, almost like a regular rich person anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like that's so horrible. Like if I had a hundred million dollars, like I, I don't, I even taking away the possibility of investing or starting a business. Like if you just had to live off that, so on many no interest trains, the rest of your life, so many, you trains. could go on as many, you could live on the train. Buy your old goddamn you train. train I could build a fucking train. Well, you couldn't do that because then you'd be out of money just like 50 cent pretty quick because no one rides uh, trains. No one's going to help <laughs> subsidize those costs. Oh, all by yourself. My train has train. stripper poles. <laughs> That's how safe. Dangerous. It's not dangerous. Yeah. You saw the snow piercer. Not dangerous at all. The snow piercer. <laughs> yeah, but like that, that would be enough money for you your whole life, your children, and mm-hmm. your grandchildren. Should like be their entire well. lives. Yeah. Like, yeah. and, and you could live well, get whatever you want, whenever you wanted it, as long as you weren't like, I need my my biweekly Bugatti, like as long as you weren't ridiculous, you could do that. Bugattis are a million, so you can run out of, you know, you spend a lot on Bugattis, but um, I think they're a million, right? Am I right? This Bugatti Veyron's million dollar car? It's 1.5. Probably like, between one and three million, I think. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so very expensive. Those That's are the kind of things cars. that, yeah, I... <laughs> I somehow got to looking at Lotus Elise's recently. You know, a Lotus Elise is like 30 grand. Yeah, yeah it's a beautiful car. It's a, it, I mean, it looks like a million bucks. Yeah. It's 30 grand. I used grand. to live next to a Lotus dealership. It, it handles as well as any car on the planet. I mean, it's right there. The motor's not super car-ish, but it's so light that it's, it's like a, an amazing car to take the track and toss around corners. And somehow I was like, well, maybe... It's like, no, what are you, <laughs> stupid fuck? You don't spend $30,000 on a toy. It's, don't be 50 cent, you jackass. But I bet if Exactly. You, you wouldn't go down and buy a yacht that you used once. Yeah. That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> Sell it one time. Hey, but anytime I want to, I can. That's not well, even true. Well, until it's chip shape. First, yes. you get it off the bottom. <laughs> get those barnacles <laughs> off of it. You know, uh-huh. it right now, it looks like the freaking... Boat from Captain Ron. No, nah, it got cleaned a while back. <laughs> yeah. A reference I'm sure five people got. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just like me and Woody were the only ones who got the Captain Ron reference. Uh, I didn't get an it. old movie and not a good one. Not a good one. <laughs> but it was for those old that, bad movies are hard to reference. That's, the that's barnacle impressive. had a lot of crap on the bottom of it though. It was it was, it was on point for the few people it, old it enough. Was. Yeah. A little gem for those people <laughs> that um, actually sat through that movie. I don't know, but stuff like that interests me because. Uh, but I bet if you pulled Fifty Cent, I bet he doesn't regret any of it. I'm sure he still has forty million. I bet he's got tons and assets. More. I bet he doesn't bet regret a damn thing. You know, it's like yeah. he can still live out his life luxuriously, and he's lived however many years luxuriously, playing by his own rules. So I'm sure. You know, while none of us here would do what he did by any stretch of the imagination, I bet he doesn't sit back and go, shouldn't have done those things. Should have should have budgeted better. There might you know? be some. I might maybe he's thinking, I wish I hadn't lost eighteen million on the headset deal. Maybe I shouldn't have uploaded that sex tape. It wasn't worth five million to me. Right, but the the hundred thousand dollars a month in, you know, expenses mm-hmm. being out. That was worth it. His, totally worth yeah, it. He's still making eighty five a fucking month, so <sighs> Sure he was well, I think that I think like we hear a hundred, we hear that hundred k in expenses, hundred eight or whatever, and I think we think that like that's all the money he spent that month. But I think that he's just like if before he spends a dime, a hundred eight grand is going yeah. out every month. That's just his like I, yard crew. I think that like <laughs> to make sure that I don't know, he's got the person looking at his house here and the people that look at his house over there and the guy cutting his grass at these eight different locations and then all the. He's got so much, uh, so much money going out. That that's just 108 that just goes out every month before he spends a dime, and then well, you see how including he things like his wardrobe and grooming. So I mean, there's a giant expense right there. I think that's wardrobe. an employee. I think that's why it includes that. I think that's a fucking person with a job who whose job is to like walk around with 50 cent and make sure his hair is looking right. What a job that <laughs> would <a> be. Stretch. <laughs> yeah. I, I 
Sometimes I, I daydream about the conveniences that really wealthy people have. Like servants. Yeah, that's pretty much the thing. You know, like I you gotta get your car inspected and it's like, fuck, I want someone to handle this for me. Um, yourself one of these mail order brides and put her in that guest house. Why? With chiz. Well, she could be your servant. She can be your keep chiz from smoking on find, the down low servant. You can find <laughs> 